Okay, so he took the little door off the front um, of this table, which used to be a sewing table, and I thought since the little chest next to it is two-toned and everything's kind of, kind of very eclectic, I thought I would leave it that way. I'm probably going to get a different chair. But the problem I'm looking at right now is I've got the the top of the vanity lined up with the arched plywood sheet, but the reason the window doesn't go with that is because it's not directly in front of the window. And it's too big for me to move because it's a four by eight sheet of plywood. So I'm going to have to get my husband in here to move that. And then I have another little idea for the top over the archway that just might pull it all together. FYI, you're being recorded. I've been recording this process right now. It's a mess. Um, the mirror came. It was broken. So we sent it back, went to Home Depot, and got a mirror for less than half the price. And my husband is now installing the light kit, which he measured repeatedly, so it should be perfect. We'll see when he's finished. So to recap what we did, I started with this um, old sewing machine table. That is what was my vanity before. Then I added a nightstand and then added a two foot by four foot board over the top. We screwed the board into the sewing machine table. I already had the stool and I already had the little rug that's over top of it. Um, so I just threw the rug on top of the stool I already had. Bought the mirror at Home Depot. Boy, that's a bad angle with all those lights. Um, the light kit came with 10 lights. I already had the four by eight sheet of plywood that my husband had cut into an archway, but I added the floral arrangement across the top for this updo. I spray painted, I'm gonna cut this light off. I spray painted these containers, which were already containers I was using, spray painted them gold. And I'm keeping my eight times magnifying makeup mirror because I will still need to see up close um, and I've got my little hand mirror to look like at the back of the hair. Um, this basket has all my skincare products in it. Um, since I have now started selling Avon, I will probably start getting rid of some of these things I've tried that didn't work all that great. Uh, bracelet trees. People gave me the bracelet trees and I have filled them. I don't wear bracelets very often, so I should probably find another place for those. So that is my vanity area makeover over here. In case you notice, I have shoe racks. These are rolling shoe racks. I think they were about $20 a piece from Lakeside Collection. And this is my earring 
holder, which is an artist canvas. They come in all different sizes. That's a rather large one. And I put my earrings on the artist canvas. The, the posts just poke through. And if they're hoops, you can poke a hole with a needle and then loop them through. So that is my vanity makeup table, and I hope you enjoyed it. I know that I will.